Kristaps Porzingis could be wearing down and it's a bad sign for the Knicks. After playing back-to-back -back games this week, Kristaps Porzingis admitted that he's feeling fatigued and this could be a worrying sign for the New York Knicks. After trading Carmelo Anthony to the Oklahoma City Thunder prior to the season, they made the decision to make Portsinus their franchise player and leader of the team. He has certainly justified their decision to do that as he's having a remarkable season and has taken on the responsibility in impressive fashion. The big man leads the team in scoring with 23. 8 points per game and is also putting up 6. 7 rebounds and 2. But with the hopes of the Knicks firmly on his shoulders, the heavy load could already be wearing him down less than halfway through the campaign. Burden. The 22-year-old logged 36 minutes in consecutive nights in games against the San Antonio Spurs and Washington Wizards this week and told ESPN's Ian Begley that he was feeling the effects. I'm so tired right now, he said. I have one day now to rest my legs and then get back and play better and have more energy and also try and bring the team's energy up. New York lost both games and the Latvian didn't play to his standards in either of them. In a 110-91 loss to the Spurs at Madison Square Garden, he posted 13 points on 5 of 19 shooting. The following night, they were blown out 121-103 by the Washington Wizards and he put up 16 points on 5 of 13 from the field with just two of those points coming in the second half. Since returning from a knee injury recently, he hasn't been able to perform the way he did to begin the season. His shooting numbers have slumped and he even failed to register a field goal in a win over the Boston Celtics as he went 0 of 11 a few weeks ago. The absence of starting shooting guard and secondary scorer Tim Hardaway Jr., who's been out for a month, hasn't helped him as who's had to carry the burden offensively. Per ESPN. Portsinus is shooting 40% in 13 games without Hardaway. He was shooting 47% from the floor and 40% from three-point range before his injury. Having Tim out doesn't make stuff easier, Portsinus said. Hopefully, Tim can be back with us soon and kind of take a little bit of pressure and attention off of myself and other guys. The front office can also do a better job of trying to ease the pressure on the power forward by making necessary moves before next month's trade deadline. As well as score, rebound and block shots, Portsinus has also been tasked with playmaking duties for much of the season and is crying out for a point guard who can take over and allow him to get easy buckets. Jared Jack and rookie Frank Tilakina have done steady jobs but he requires a specialist in that position to work with. The NBA is currently dominated by talented point guards and the Knicks are being left behind because of their lack of one. Even a player like Rajan Rondo would been a smart acquisition for them in the summer but instead, it's Anthony Davis who's benefiting from him in New Orleans as who's allowed the superstar to concentrate on being an elite finisher. Ronto set a franchise record just last week with 25 assists in one game. Portsinus would love to have a player capable of putting up those numbers. 
like Davis, scoring is exactly what KP should be focusing on rather than being a full-time playmaker like Kevin Durant. The Sacramento Kings are looking to trade George Hill and move his contract and he could be one of the players they can look at to solve this glaring weakness. New York's chances of making the playoffs depend on their star player and they'll be in serious danger of missing out this year if they don't surround him with the help he needs.